All right, so uh, the next thing I want to show you is how to use the matrix um, editor, which is um, kind of cool. Right here um, in blue letters, you see where it says matrix. So if I hit second and then X to the negative one, um, it pulls up the matrix editor. And so let me explain some of these things and then we'll show you how to do the work. Basically, you label the matrix um, E, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Um, like so. And so what you would do is those are the names and so I might want to choose A. If I hit enter now it will show the matrix on my home screen. So I don't want to select a matrix, I want to edit one. So let's edit it. Um, this is very similar um, to putting information into a list. Now my matrix, remember for matrix operations it always goes row by columns. So let's say I wanted to do three rows by, um, let's say, four columns, right? So now what that does is that creates a matrix like so. And so I'm going to just plug in some random numbers, one for the first one, uh, two, oops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, not very original, 10, 11, and then 12. Okay. So this is my matrix, and what I've done is by editing A, I've inputted values for the matrix. Notice here that it's, it shows that this is matrix A, row one, column one. And so if I scroll through these, it'll show me the different columns and rows. So this is like the third row, fourth column. Okay, so now if I go and quit and I go to the home screen, I can actually display my matrix by hitting second matrix. And now, notice that next to the matrix A, I have three by four. So if I hit enter, then that puts that on the screen here. Now we could do matrix operations on it in a second, but, but basically if I hit enter now, it will just display the matrix. And this is what it looks like um, in math print. In classic, it just uses uh, braces and um, parentheses and commas to kind of separate uh, the rows and columns. But that's basically how you enter in a matrix. Uh, the next thing that I want to show you is how to perform a calculation with it. Um, so remember for matrix operations, um, you can, well let's, let's, let's edit, uh, I'm sorry, let's edit a second matrix. And I'm gonna, I'm going to, I'm going to multiply a second matrix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit B. Now remember, in order to multiply, the inner and outer um, dimensions have to match. In other words, if I want to multiply a three by four, I have to multiply it by a four by three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a four by three matrix, okay? And I'm not going to get into the math, uh, not in this video, I'll do that in one of my pre-calculus videos as to what numbers actually get multiplied which with, with which. I just want to show you how to enter it in the calculator and multiply them out in this video. Um, so I'm going to enter in a similar matrix, except I'm going to start with two. Um, and then I'm going to do four, six, seven, eight, negative two, um, negative three, negative four, nine, uh, three, two, and zero. And then lastly, seven. All right, boom. Now I've got uh, matrix A and matrix B. So if I quit this screen, go back to the home screen, I can actually multiply A by B. But first, let me show you what B is. So I'm gonna hit second um, matrix and I'm gonna come down here Boom, hit B, there's my second matrix, a um, four by three matrix. Now, if I wanted to multiply the two matrices, remember that uh, if I have a three by four and a four by three, the product of the two should be a three by three. I'm not gonna explain the matrix operations uh, in this video, just how the calculator, um, how you use the calculator to make the calculations. So what I do is I'm gonna say second matrix, I'm gonna put A, then I'm gonna put times, then I'm gonna put second matrix, come down here and put B, and hit enter. Boom, a three by three matrix, perfectly met, uh, multiplied by your calculator. 
Um, sometimes, uh, and this is a little tip, maybe I am going to explain how you multiply um, matrices and do ma basic matrix operations. But let's say, for instance, I uh, tried to multiply B by A. Well, the dimensions won't match up, right, because of how you actually multiply matrices. Again, I'm not explaining how. Just trust me, you can't do it. And so if I multiply B by A, uh, it won't work. The dimensions, oh wait, let me think. Four by three, three, actually, I think it will, but I'll get a four by four this time. So if I have a four by three and a three by four, actually it will work, but I'll get a different answer. So I hit enter, and now I get a four by four matrix. That's okay. Um, let's make one that won't work, because I want to show you the error message that you get. So I hit second, matrix, and now I'm going to make a two by two. Um, won't work at all. So I'm going to enter a third matrix C, and I'm just going to make, oh, I want to enter it. Uh, so I'm going to come over here, hit enter, go down to C. I want to edit it, and so I'm going to make it a two um, by two, and we'll just do one, two, three, four, and so because this is a two by two matrix, I there's no way that I could possibly multiply that by A or B. So what I'm gonna do, oops, I gotta quit this. I'm gonna say C times, and you know, you can, uh, instead of doing the, the whole thing, I can technically go this, I could do this. I could say, by using the different characters on the screen, I can actually enter in matrix stuff like that. Um, which is another way. And then you get a syntax error. And it says check all the arguments entered. Now basically the reason we're getting a syntax error is because when the calculator tries to uh, multiply the row by the column and the columns by the row, um, there aren't enough elements to multiply. So you get a syntax error. And so that's the basics of how you enter in um, a matrix, how you display a matrix, and just a brief introduction as to how to do some um, multiplications with matrices. Um, and that's it.